Introducing a loop in this context helps visualize how they work. As you can see, instead of just one star, we now have 10. Now let's multiply the number of stars in the print statement by the variable size. This creates a square shape as the output with a total of 100 stars because we print 10 stars 10 times. By simply changing the size variable to i, we get a completely different result. Since i changes with each row, the number of stars varies accordingly. If you're wondering whether there's a way to start with 10 stars and decrease their number instead, there is. Just subtract i from size in each iteration. As i grows, the number of stars decreases row by row. We can also add blank spaces to shift the triangle to a different corner. Using the same technique, we can flip it. We can even center the triangle or create an entire Christmas tree out of it. Practicing with loops is essential. You need to understand what happens in each iteration. And this simple exercise can help because 